And yes, you are in the right place, Julio's Kitchen Vancouver, once again here, and I'm going to prepare a very popular uh, sort of dish, fish and chips, my friends, Julio's style, and now we're gonna, gonna use the uh, regular batter, but I am going to make it with tempura butter. How's that? You know, I make things different a little bit. So I'm gonna use the butter, I mean the, the tempura flour. I'm gonna use the batter. For that, I'm gonna use beer. Uh, I know, it, it, my request, you can also use this, sparkling water. But I'm just showing you that I'm gonna use beer. Beer makes it foamy. Make the batter like, you know, elevate a little bit more. And also we are using one egg white. Okay, that's for a batter. Here is the 100 grams of uh, that tempura batter right here. Ready to go. And I'm gonna spice it up with some cayenne pepper. Salt and pepper for the presentation. We need a lime and I think we're ready. Oh, yes. And here's our fish. I chose halibut. You can use cod, any type of fish. And this is nice and clean. You can cut it in, in the pieces that you like. Uh, you know, it's up to you. It's fine with me. I'm gonna put it in the fridge. Remember, the fish and, and, and fresh meat, please. Any type of meat, put it, keep it on the fridge until cooking time. And here is, I uh, prepare myself ahead too. Look, I have the fries. I mean, chip, yeah, for fish and chip. Nice and dry. You know what I've done? I just uh, use a clean towel and just burn it because we're gonna dip it in oil, okay? So here we go. Uh, I'm gonna show you right here. Let's see if my angle, right here. I got my oil going. We are ready and I am going to start with the batter. Okay, here. You know me and my technology, so bear with me. All right, here, we got a good. All right, Julio, here we go. Tempura batter, Julio's kitchen style. All right. First, first, okay, 100 grams of tempura butter. You can use flour if you like. We are gonna use, this is measured by the eye because what you need is a very consistent batter, right? So here we go, let me see if I have a good angle. Yeah, there you go, I'm gonna move it right here. So here we go, per, beer, and then start the process, okay. Whisk it, whisk it, there you go. And see how that's mixing? This is for the amount of the fish that I got. Look, that is looking good. So what I use is 100 grams of the powder, the mixed tempura, and probably not even 20 mil. In five, see, that's good. Beautiful. Uh, for my two pieces of fish, uh, I think I'm gonna need a little bit more. Okay, so this is when you start your own decisions. Okay, so I have my battery right here. We can add a little bit more. Because I want it very nice and coated, right? Probably another like 10 grams or something like that. There you go. And see the consistent how it changes? That's a little bit too thick. So let's Lighten it up a little bit more, and that is how you work in the kitchen. I hope my image doesn't blur, because uh, sometimes it happens. Like that, see? Beautiful. Now, okay, next. Egg white. You gotta beat this one too. Whisk, whisk, whisk. And do you see the foamy thing create, being created? You know, take your time, take your time. Uh, there you go. See, my oil's already being preheated. It's 350. Uh, I don't have a 
thermo read it, but you see what I'm gonna do. So there you go. When you get something like this, then you bring the pattern over here and you put it. That's, that's gonna elevate the crust of the chip. Here we go, you with me, you with me? Hmm, hopefully it's not too runny because I want this batter to stick to the fish, right? You know what, it's a little bit too runny and go ahead. You have control of your tool, your ingredient. What I'm showing you is just a process, not too runny. A little bit too runny, there you go. So this is fun, this is the fun, right? Because then, you know, you start realizing the reaction of every ingredient, how much it is and how much it is. Yeah. So I think we're good to go. All right, batter's ready. Let's see, we're gonna move on right here. And, uh oh, it moved, it's okay. I want you to take a good look at this frying process. Okay, here, we good? All I'm going to do is this. Look at that. That's the testing, my friend. That's the way you test something. Okay, here we go. I am going to enlarge the, uh, the image because I want you to see literally Okay, here we go. My oil, I don't want my oil to be too, too hot, okay? So turn it a little bit down. I am gonna use my clean hands because they're clean. So, here we go. Make sure you grab, you have enough. And grab it and go ahead my friends, into the oven. I mean, into the oven, into the fryer. <laughs> Here we go, isn't that beautiful? So I guess my, uh, yeah, the oil is, is nice and hot now, it's ready for the frying process. And you can do the rest, okay? Hold on, I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer. There you go. So we do another one. There you go. See. It's a little bit messy, guys, but you know what? It's okay. It can clean that after. There you go. Wow, look at that. See how much batter is left? But then you know, right? Next time you, uh, um... oh my god. There you go. More. It's okay if you get a little bit messy. That's what cooking is all about. Look at that beautiful frying process, okay? Not even, until you see the face turning a bit dark, but golden brown, and then you will have to do something about it. Like, flip it, take it out of there. There you go. That's our fish and chips in the making. And I'm not gonna take the, uh, What's it called? The camera one, because I want you to. I want you to see because it's nice, right? Look at that. That's beautiful. The fish is cooking, my friend. Thank you for being here with me. Fish and ship, tempura style, Julio's Kitchen, Vancouver. Okay, so I'm gonna fry this and let me see. Nice. You gotta be careful when you flip. Don't try not to. You'll be grabbing because you're gonna break the pieces. So 
So it's going nice and beautiful. I'll leave you with this and I'll come back to show you, uh, you know, uh, chips, french fries. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, our fish is ready. And I'm gonna show you something, okay? You take it out, it's nice and, and moist in the inside. So I want you to put it here on a, a baking, let's see, my, yeah. Use a baking sheet. And uh, because we gotta work on our uh, fries, right? And our chips. So look how beautiful that is. And clean your, uh, clean the oil right here. Beautiful. You know these are very handy uh, devices. You know I found them in the uh, an Asian store or any kind of store you go buy your uh, kitchenware. Just uh, you gotta remove all this. And here now we got our fries. And all you do is this, that's it. Oh, okay, careful with the oil, hot oil, okay? You gotta be really careful with it. Make sure you don't burn yourself. And there you go, our fries are gone. It's a good fry guys, you know, I, don't, I think I don't have to tell you that much, right? It's just that till they're like nice and uh, golden brown, we're going to be uh, good. In the meantime, I got my fish right here. Here, I'm going to show you. Yeah, hold on. Okay, I got my fish right here. I put it right here on the tray. Why? Because this is going to go into the oven. See, I think the, uh, see the reflection from, there you go. So this is going into the oven, I have it at 200. Okay, just because you have to keep them uh, nice and warm and the baking is, uh, time is gonna make the um, the outside of the chip, uh, the fish, crispy. So keep them in the oven until the uh, your chips are ready, okay? So there we go, we'll see. Look how beautiful they are. Make sure that they're like don't stick together and um, I hope I can get one show guys out of, oh my god this one, look at this one, there you go. Yeah, just to make sure that uh, when you cut the uh, The potatoes uh, do it sort of uniform, so you can get the same kind of uh, sizes, right? Okay, they're almost ready. I'm gonna turn the heat down because the heat was really high. Mm. Make sure you have a rack so you can clean the outside when it's hot because it's, if you let it dry, this is hard to. Uh, Come on. Okay, there you go. So our fries are almost ready. Guys, I'll see you at plating. Okay, Julio's Kitchen, Vancouver. I'll see you at plating. Fish and ship, then put a start. Okay, so when taking the, uh, the uh, french fries out right away, sprinkle them with a little bit of uh, Cayenne, that's what I do. It's up to you, whatever, yeah. So they get some flavor in. Okay, I'll see you, now I see your plate. And so this is it, my friends. Thank you once again for being in Julio's Kitchen, Vancouver. This is my fish and chips. I, uh, it's better to serve this, let me tell you right away, when it's, it just came out of the uh, the fryer or the oven. Why? Because everything is fresh and it's very, uh, Crunchy, right? But because I need to do my prep. But look at that, it's beautiful. You get the idea how to make them, make the butter, uh, season it if you like. I have uh, uh, right here, I'm gonna enjoy this with, you know, my drink, beer. What else do I need here? My spices, hot sauce, 
And yeah, right here on the bottom, which is the fish sauce, tartar sauce. You can make it. I think I made it in one of my past shows. Let me try one uh, piece of fries. There you go. Mmm. Beautiful. So I leave you with this Julio's Kitchen Vancouver fish and chips. I think uh, I like them. They're very nice. Until next time, my friend. And thank you for being here once again. God bless you.